Hey guys, Mike here. So we're pouring an 80 by 28 concrete slab today. This thing's about five to six inches thick, and then the edges taper down to about 12 inches thick. We got wire mesh in here for reinforcement. We're gonna throw a double row of rebar around the edges as soon as we get the concrete in here. We'll set that on top and push it down in so it's only about two or three inches down from the top. But we're a little short-handed today. Darren's not here with us today, so there's just me and Luke, and then we got Jim and Harvey helping us out. So we're going to get this thing poured. It's about 45 yards it's going to take today to get this slab poured. And this is going to be for a duplex, so it's going to be a like a two-unit house the guy's going to build on top of this thing. Now we're using 4,000 PSI concrete today. It's, it, it's, it's pretty cold. It's late in the fall. Um, the temperatures are getting below freezing on some nights, so the concrete's got warm water. It's got 120 degree hot water in the concrete, and by the time that, get mi that gets mixed in with everything, the concrete comes out at about 70 degrees. So that, that helps it set up quite a bit. Another thing that helps the concrete set up on these cold days is that styrofoam we got under the slab. We live in Maine, so we get a lot of freeze and thaw cycles and a lot of times people will put actually the state actually has it's a state law the code says that we have to have styrofoam under a slab like this so it just helps heat the slab a little bit better heat the house a little bit better and they think it's just more efficient for heating so we have to put that stuff even though it's really expensive it's just about it's between 35 and 40 dollars a sheet for a four by eight sheet of that two inch styrofoam so it on a job like this, that adds up a lot. So Jim's getting the edges all magged out, getting the styrofoam in. I'm shooting my grades there with the laser for the middle. And those grades in the middle are the same as the top of the form. And then we're going to get our pads struck off. And then we'll, we're going to use the MBW Screed Demon today to, to, to vibra screed this floor. So we're going to use a power screed to get most of this floor screeded. You'll be able to see how we do that. That makes it pretty easy, actually. But in order to get our center pads in place, we like to hand screed them. And, and Luke and I kick screed when we screed by hand like this. And that just, for us, that just ensures that that center pad is perfectly level and there's no humps or dips in it at all. Then we can just put the power screed down, the screed demon. And you can see how easy it's going to be to screed using this thing. Really, the key for using uh, any power screed like this is the guys, the two guys behind you raking the concrete. You now, Luke and Javi have got a lot of experience, so they they know how to rake concrete really good, really fast, and they know just where I like it too when I'm running this the screed. I I like the concrete just to be a, a little bit high behind the screed, definitely not low, and definitely not too high because it'll vibrate right under. So they, they, make, they really do most of the work. I'm just kind of squeezing the throttle and pulling back on the fiber screen and just watching my edges, making sure my two edges are both touching. The edges leave a little bit of a mark, like a line, as you go down, and, and you can tell by that when you're screeding. So that, that means you're perfectly flat and level. And then, you know, you can see Jim running the bow float over it opposite way of the way we're screeding. There's no, there's no dips or humps or anything under that bull float. It's, that bull float's perfectly fine. Hey, for those of you who are thinking of maybe doing your own concrete slab, whether it's for a house like this, a garage, a shed, or anything, I've got a concrete slab course down in the description below of the video that teaches you, you know, from step by step how to do a concrete slab like this. So if you're interested in that, you know, go down there in the description, check it out and it will help you install your own concrete slab.
Hi guys, so as you can see, pouring a big slab like this is just a, basically a process. You know, it's one truck at a time. When we, when we attack a slab like this, we know 10 yards is going to do about 18 to 20 feet of the slab. So we try to focus on that section first, get that one truck poured out, screeded, bolt loaded, and then move on to the next truck, the next eight, 18 to 20 feet and just take it in different parts like that and you know before you know it you're down to your last truck and you're almost done so rather than just try to dump concrete anywhere and everywhere you got to treat it as a as a process and a little bit strategically and it makes pouring the slab like this a lot easier and that kind of depends on any size concrete floor concrete slab project you're doing it's just take it one truck at a time get that truck down, get it screeded, then move on to the next one. And, you know, whether it's two trucks or, or 40 trucks, it's always a process, you know, and it always comes down to manpower too, what, what you have for manpower. So depending on the experience of your manpower, how many guys, how many women you have on the crew, and what each of them can do will, will definitely play into a factor of how fast or how slow you get the slab poured but for us it's basically just a process let's take it one truck at a time get that truck emptied get them out of there and get the second one in and then we'll move on from there Hey, so if any of you guys want more advanced training to learn how to work with concrete like we do, the Concrete Underground is down in the description below. You can check on that. I have more in-depth training videos in there, more one-on-one -on -one help. You, we can reach out to each other in the forums. You can ask me questions. I can help you with different jobs. I can help you with estimating. I can help you with starting your own business. So. That's down in the description below, guys, the Concrete Underground, my private training academy. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.